Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with our admin commands. And this time, what we're going to do is make it so that only certain players have access to the command bar. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. To do this, we're going to be adding another script to the server script service. And since we have multiple scripts in one place, I went ahead and gave them a different name. So this one is the one we worked on last time. And this has the different functions for the admin commands. And the one we're going to work on in this video, I renamed to users. On this script, the first thing we're going to do is create a list. And inside this list, we're going to store all the players' names that we want to have the command bar. To do that, we can just say local admins. And then we're going to be creating a list. So we're going to say equal to and then the curly bracket. And then inside the curly bracket, you would put the players' names that you want to have the command bar. So to add my player, I would put my name inside of quotation marks. So it would be tech underscore Mike. And then below the list, we're going to create a function that will check to see if the player's name is inside of the admins list. So we'll say local function. And then we'll call this function admin check. It's going to take in the player. And then what we're going to do for this function is we're going to loop through this list and check to see if the player's name is inside the list. So to do that, we're going to say for underscore comma, and then we'll say admin in pairs. Inside the parentheses will be the list I'm going to be looping through. So that's admins. Inside this for loop, I'm going to say if player dot name is equal to admin. Then what we're going to do is we're going to return true. OK, so the way this little function works, it's going to take in the player. And then what it's going to do, it's going to take the player's name and see if it exists inside of our admins list. OK, so we want to check to see if they're an admin when they join the game. So to do that, we'll say game dot players. And then we're going to say dot player added. Then we're going to say colon connect. Inside the parentheses, we're going to make a function. This function will take in player. Inside this function, we're going to start by saying if. And then after that, I want to run this function right here. So I'm going to say admin underscore check. I'm going to give this function the player. So this is the player that joins the game. And then inside of this if statement, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say player dot player GUI. And then I'm going to say colon wait for child. Inside the parentheses, I'm going to put admin. After that, I'm going to say dot frame and then dot visible. And I'm going to set that equal to true. So the way this works is whenever the player joins the game, it's going to check to see if that player is an admin. And the way we're checking is by using this function up here and looking through our admins list. If it does find that they're in the list, this function is going to return true. So this part will be true down here. And if it's true, then what it's going to do, it's going to look in their player GUI. It's going to wait for admin, which is what we called our screen GUI over here. Inside the screen GUI, we want to make sure that the frame is visible for the player, which is what we're doing on this last part here. To make sure that the command bar doesn't show up for all players, go ahead and click on the frame. And then down for the visible part right here, make sure the box is unchecked. All right, so let's go ahead and run the game and make sure it works. All right, and we can see that it works. The command bar is down here. Let me show you what happens when there's multiple people in the game. OK, so when I host a local server, the player's names are player one and player two. So let's go ahead and add player one to our admin list so it shows up for them. So to add another player to the admin list, all you have to do is put a comma and then put the additional player's names inside of quotation marks. So the player that we want to add is player one, just like that. And now let's go back and test it and make sure it works. OK, and now we can see that the command bar shows up for player one, but not player two, because player one is inside of our admins list and player two is not. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.